Premier pro wrestling fans, aficionados, and simps. I am Randy Ritchie, the president of PPW, here with senior official Justin McKay. Tonight at PPW's 537th taping, we were supposed to crown new tag team champions. There was a tag team tournament that was supposed to be settled in one night. As fate would have it and as life imitates art, the first matchup, Humak came in as a one-man team and he wrestled against Spawn 1 and Spawn 2. That match ended in a disqualification and was thrown out. Neither team advanced. The next tag team matchup, what was that one in the tournament? Brandon Campbell and Jay Leon versus Mickey Sin and Zero Gold. The heavily favored, because of their energy, badass Brandon Campbell, the relentless Jay Leon, against Zero Gold and Mickey Sin, two members of the science class. And how did that one end? I believe that one was also thrown out by Marufo. That matchup was considered a no contest as when Jay Leon put that German suplex on the man from Osaka, Japan. Both men's shoulders were pinned. There was no winner. That led us to the last match in the tournament. And at this point, the only match that could still qualify for those championship belts yep. and left us in a pretty good spot. When the, we found out could be trusted, PPW World Heavyweight Champion El Guerrero Jose Acosta and Jesse Danger were actually able to put their differences aside for the night and took Charlie Hustle, quote unquote, and Marcus the Science Smith to the limit. Yes, they took them to the limit. This match had 10 minutes added to it because it was a title matchup. And as fate would have it, at 29 minutes and 59 seconds, or 30 minutes and one second. Yep, 30 minutes and one second. I counted the three. However, the time limit expired. Right at oh. one second. Oh, 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 hold on. That's right, yes. Hold the phone, please. Oh. That's right. Senior official Justin, as a result of that travesty of officiating my horse face boy Charlie Hustle and the science Marcus Smith were robbed of our rightful PPW Tag Team Championships. And, and in your infinite wisdom, Randy, what did you decide to do instead of doing the right thing and handing the science class our tag team titles? This Saturday in Rockford, you've put me and Charlie Hustle, Mickey Sin and Zero Gold, badass Brandon Campbell, and Jay Leone, and uh, who else there? The, uh, the um, uh, Your uh, favorite, Jose Acosta and Jesse Danger. I had That's just, right. I had just gotten his, the thought of him out of my mind. That's right, Jose Acosta and his new best buddy in the whole wide world, Jesse Danger, we're all gonna be in a four-way tag team title elimination match. And folks, the way that went down was unbelievable. Jesse Danger fought Jose Acosta for that heavyweight championship the week ago, one week ago. And as fate would have it, they were the last two on the roster with nobody to team with. Jose assured him that Jesse could count on him and I'll be damned if he couldn't. That is respect, my friends. El Guerrero Jose Acosta, after he defeated Jesse Danger, held his hand out out of respect yes. for the way that he fought him for that championship belt. And on the personal side, a lot of people don't know this, but they are both young fathers with five children, and they both have a six kid coming. So there's a bond there, and tonight at 537, I'm a believer, are you a That's believer? I'm a believer. He can count on El Guerrero, Jose Acosta, I'm talking about Jesse Danger. Yes, nobody screwed you over. 30 minutes, one second, he hit three. This week, this Saturday night, PPW, 538, which will be the 17th of February, 2024. 
Four Corners Elimination Matchup. You and your beautiful horse faced boy. Mickey Sin and Zero Gold versus Badass Brandon Campbell versus El Guerrero Jose Acosta Elimination Style. So there will be new tag team champions this Saturday night in Rockford. And listen, I like me some days of our lives just like the rest of you. But let's take all that soap opera aside. At the end of the day, when the smoke clears, the science class are going to be the premier pro wrestling tag team champions. And when we win, the Freebird rule is going to be in effect. I know you all are wondering what he means by that, the Freebird rule. If and when any of the four members of the science class become tag team champions we'll explain that down the road all right hope we see you this saturday night don't forget help support premier pro wrestling and pro wrestling tees and check out ppw live